Hi guys, um, welcome to another development update. So we just finished another three weeks of fixing things and putting new features in. So we thought we'd give you a little bit of a demo of what's new. So first up, um, we've changed how we actually resolve your host name, which is the computer name you put in here, to your IP address. And this actually works a hell of a lot better. And in some cases, for some of you out there, it actually just works full stop, whereas before it didn't. So you can enjoy that, especially you guys out there who have more than one network card in your computer, this now actually worked properly and you should be able to connect, no problem. So I'm going to hand over to Jeremy now, who's going to take you through what he's been building. So I'm just going to shift that over to where you are, mate. Yeah, so I've been working on fixing the settings when you're rendering with GPUs, so that we've added the option to choose to use the CPU or not here so that we can support hybrid rendering in 2.8 when you're rendering with GPUs. Um, we did find that when you were just choosing the GPU, the CPU would often render as well if hybrid rendering was set on in the Blender interface. So now you can control that all in each node. And yeah, it works fine. Which is really good. We've been, good. we've been rendering a lot with that. It's we been have. Really it's been very, very fun to be able to control <laughs> what you want your nodes to it's use. It's always much more fun when you can control things, right? Yes. Being out of control is never much fun. Okay, so I think next up, Chris has been doing some work in the back end to make things faster for getting your list of nodes. I'll just let you talk about that and I'll shut up for a sec. Yeah, so um, a couple of things have changed. Um, the responsiveness of pretty much all this data and the status of your nodes should be a bit better now. Um, Things like uh, changing this to when this updates should be slightly faster. So do you want to just give us a rundown what that is? So <laughs> this is how many server nodes with our cloud system you're wanting to request. Okay. So let's say I wanted to uh, request three server nodes and we can see that that should be updated pretty soon. It's taking a bit longer now, there we go. Um, and then when you start the nodes, it will obviously uh, go and ask our system to give you three machines and you can see that it's requesting three. Um, this should be a bit faster. Your credit will update slightly faster. Um, it also updates at the moment you've, if you've recharged as well, doesn't it? Yeah, so if you recharge, it'll come straight back through within probably a couple of seconds um, rather than the next time you try to start your server. <laughs> That's um, right, there was a bit of delay. I think people yeah. were realizing a bit too late because the credit would suddenly jump when they went back to start the nodes again. So yeah. pressing the start clouds button, sometimes yeah. you'd see your credit just drop sharply. That doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Um, so that's much faster. And then yes, as I said before, the changes to the status of each of your machines should be a bit faster as well. Cool. So that's uh, in summary, that's basically a less glitchy and faster experience for getting hold of lots of render nodes in the cloud to use to render, which is great. And finally, I've added as well the ability to log out. So a few people have actually requested that they could never actually log out a computer, which has been obviously impossible for you to do unless you knew how to edit config files. So now there's just a log out button. So you just hit log out and boom, that computer is now logged out. All of your in important data is now removed from it. So if you want to log back in, you can just put your password and username back in and press log in and it will log it back in for you. But if you do need to log any computer out once you download O2O, which is the next version that's coming out, then you'll be able to do that really easily, just like any other regular service which has a sign out or log out button. So I guess you're welcome for that one, for those people that request that feature. Done. Um, as a last, this is the last sprint we're doing before we actually do a release. So hooray! O to O will be the next release, or zero to zero, I guess. Um, we've updated the minor revision because we've added a whole bunch of new features and we're following semantic versioning as we mentioned in a previous video. So that's gonna be dropping probably within maybe a week and a half. We're just doing shakedown testing, which you'll hear more about on social media. We're also gonna test it with our cloud rendering partner, Blender Grid. Make sure it's all working before we actually give it to you guys, because it wouldn't be great if we gave it to you and it was not working in that regard. And finally, we are grateful for your support. So please like, share, and subscribe this video. Also check out our website. We've got a crowdfunding campaign running so you can help with development. And that's it from us. See you next time. Bye. See you.